so you want a free minecraft server and i'm about to show you the five best ways to get a free minecraft server in 2024 let's get started let's start off with felix nodes so felix is a free minecraft server hosting and out of all of the ones that i'm going to be showing you today it's the one with the least laggy servers it can run the uh, servers with the best performance but there are a few things to note if you want to use sftps you need to um uh, buy the premium version uh, and if you do buy the premium version uh, it's really cheap it's only eight dollars a month so it's a really good option if you want to start a minecraft server with your friends it can host up to 20 players with 10 plugins without any lag and if you it can even run up to like 50 plugins without lag so after that we're going on to to cortex nodes cortex nodes is also a free minecraft server hosting you do have sftp access and it's uh, uh, 100 uh, 100 percent uptime but there's a few things to you can see we only have 80 percent uptime but in uh, Felix nodes, uh, Felix servers, we have actually 100%. And here, it's only 2000 MB, so that's 2 GB. And the RAM is also really less. You can make only one server. Also, it lags a lot, but it's good that you can access the SFTP. So you can upload your own files, your own worlds, etc. If you want to access your server, you have to create it here first. Click create server. Select what no, uh, what nodes do you want to use. One is free, the rest are premium. And you can uh, put in the resources and select all these different options for uh, what type of server do you want to use um, after making your server and click open. This will open up the panel. So you have to log in with your main account you can see it from settings this is your account and free so moving on we have Atanos you all know of Atanos and some of you may like it most of you might hate it Atanos does not allow SFTP access and the biggest downside of Atanos is that everything you do at every time an ad open up, opens up you can't go anywhere without watching an ad and also you don't have any sftp access you can't upload any custom plugins also the server uh, shuts off after five minutes of inactivity which is even worse so you can if you don't like atonos you can use any of the other uh hostings that i mentioned before in this video so we have two more to go next we have mine Fort. So Minefort is actually really good. It's kind of like Minehut. It has a central server where you can join other servers from, but you can also join your server separately. So you can see it's 24/7. You have your server IP. You have your uh, SFTP access. You can uh, use it from here. The last option, which is Oracle Cloud. So Oracle Cloud is actually not a uh, server hosting, uh, Minecraft server hosting, it's a VPS hosting, right? Once you sign up on Oracle Cloud, it gives you a free VPS, a uh, virtual private server, right? Uh, we, so the VPS has four cores, 400% CPU, uh, 24 GB RAM, uh, 24 GB storage with I think 8 GB RAM. So with Oracle, it's a bit complicated to set up a Minecraft server with a panel and all, but once you do it, this is the best op option out of all of the five because it has 100% uptime. You have full control over your server. Also, it does not lag at all because of the insane resources you get completely for free. So you, you have to definitely check out Oracle Cloud if you want to create a free Minecraft server just for a few friends, not many plugins then the best one in my opinion is uh, either cortex nodes or minefort or if you want to maybe go a bit high level 
you can uh, use Felix servers but the thing about Felix is that it does turn off your servers every two every three hours if you don't reset the timer but it can handle the most now if uh, you can go a bit more complex you can uh, do a bit more research and set up your server on Oracle which is the best option out of all of these so guys I hope you like this video and I hope this helped you a lot